Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 5th of August. India marks 5th anniversary of Article 370 abrogation in Kashmir. Opposition condemns move. Bangladesh PM Hasina resigns interim government to run the country, says Army Chief. And deadly floods engulf India and Pakistan leave trail of destruction. And now for all the details. India on Monday marked the 5th anniversary of abrogation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. In the wake of recent spate of terror attacks in the Indian Territory, security was also beefed up across regions along with the line of control to avoid any untoward incident. While the state unit of BJP observed Ek Atma Mohotsav, a celebration of unification, opposition parties including the regional PDP and the state unit of Congress held protest against the government's decision made five years ago. Former JNK chief minister and PDP chief taking to vex said the region has been threatened into silence dubbed as peace and normalcy to the rest of the country. Tanvir Sadik, chief spokesperson of the National Conference, alleged he was house arrested by the authorities. He termed the August 5 move as unconstitutional and illegal and added, by ignoring the constitution, the BJP undermined the constitutional, moral, ethical and legal relationship with the JNK. आज का दिन बहुत ही पावन दिन है 370 समाप्त हुआ 5 साल पूरे हो गए कश्मीर तरक्की के रास्ते पर बढ़ रहा है वहां शांति है वहां तिरंगा लहराता है कश्मीर के बच्चे अब नया भविष्य देखते हैं ढेला फेंकने वाले शांत हो गए ढेला फेंकवाने वाले जेल के अंदर हैं वो हार रहे हैं बार-बार आज जो दिवस यह है ये वाकई ही काला दिवस के तौर पे हम लोग मना रहे हैं और भाजपा चाहे जिस ढंग से इसका जश्न मनाए जम्मू कश्मीर की बर्बादी का वो जश्न मना रहे हैं आज के दिन हमारी रियासत का दर्जा हमसे छीना गया हमसे स्टेट्स बैक छीना गया और गवर्नर साहब की जगह एलजी की पोस्ट में बिठा के जम्मू कश्मीर को डिग्रेड किया गया India ended the special status and semi-autonomy granted to Jammu and Kashmir and bifurcated the state into two federally administered regions in 2019. The move has frozen the ties with Pakistan, which also claims the region and has fought multiple wars with India for the territory. New Delhi has maintained the regions in India's integral part and no one has the locus standee on the matters related to it. And Torrential rains in different parts of India has killed hundreds of people and left a trail of destruction. Rescuers employed radars to aid in search operation for bodies in India's Kerala on Monday, where deadly landslides have claimed over 270 lives, with many still missing. Excavators sifted through mud and debris in search for bodies as hopes for survivors diminished with a week of rescue and search operations since the tragedy occurred. Authorities on Sunday also held a mass burial for unidentified bodies in Wynad. Heavy rainfall in the area caused the landslides last week, unleashing torrents of mud and rain that buried people as they were asleep. In the very place that we are standing now, investigation is going on to find dead bodies using radar also. And simultaneously, a forest department, they have deployed uh, search teams from the <coughs> upstream side, from the upstream of Sunrise Valley side to the Sujipura waterfall side. Moreover, we are combining with other departments, especially the police department, in conducting anti-theft operations. Meanwhile, emergency workers rescued 17,000 pilgrims who were stranded after torrential rains hit the Uttarakhand state. Rescuers were seen airlifting survivors using helicopters while several Hindu pilgrims remain missing. Prone to flash floods and landslides, the state reported 11 deaths after a massive cloudburst pounded the region, hampering communications in the hilly terrain. The work of the soldiers is complete. The people have been left there for a long time. 
A similar situation persisted in neighboring Pakistan after flood waters rushed down the Shishiko Valley in Chitral region on Sunday, destroying a crucial bridge and causing devastation along the way. The residents were reportedly in great need of relief. Amid violent protests across the country, Bangladesh Army took over the reins on Monday as Army Chief General Wakaruz Zaman announced formation of interim government by the armed forces following PM Sheikh Hasina's resignation from the top office. The South Asian nation has been ruled mostly by military leaders in 50 years of its existence. The deadly protests from the past one month had killed hundreds and injured thousands, I report. In a major turn of events, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned with Bangladesh Army taking the reins of power in the South Asian nation. In a televised address, Bangladesh Army Chief General Wakarus Zaman announced Hasina's resignation and announced an interim government will now run the country. Media reports suggested Hasina had fled Bangladesh, making a pit stop in India before flying to a third country ending her 15 years rule. Television visuals showed thousands of people pouring onto the streets of capital Dhaka in jubilation and shouting slogans. Protesters in Dhaka also climbed atop a large statue of independence leader Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Hasina's father, and began chiseling away at the head with an axe. The visuals showed. General Zaman, who held meeting with opposition leaders, including those blamed by Hasina for deadly violence that rocked the nation, said that no state of emergency will be declared in the country and added the army will investigate all murders and injustices happened during the month-long student protests against reservation quotas in government jobs that escalated into a campaign for the ouster of Hasina. আমি সমস্ত রাজনৈতিক দলের নেতৃবৃন্দকে এখানে আমন্ত্রণ করেছিলাম ওনারা এখানে এসেছেন আমরা একটা সুন্দর আলোচনা করেছি সেখানে আমরা সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছি যে একটা ইন্টারিম গভর্নমেন্ট আমরা ফর্ম করব এবং ইন্টারিম গভর্নমেন্টের মাধ্যমে এ দেশের সমস্ত কার্যকলাপ চলবে শেখ হাসিনা ওয়াজ দি লংয়েস্ট সার্ভিং হেড অফ গভর্নমেন্ট অফ বাংলাদেশ who was elected for the fourth consecutive term in January. She was accused by the opposition and Western governments of rights violations and suppressing free speech and dissent. And Pakistan's incarcerated and former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who blames military for his ouster from office this past week and said that it would be foolish to not have excellent relations with the army. It has been a year now since Khan has been in jail. He said he is proud of Pakistani soldiers and armed forces and his criticism had been directed at individuals, not the military as an institution. Khan last week offered to hold conditional negotiations with the country's military if clean and transparent elections were held and the bogus cases against his supporters were dropped. There has been no statement by the army over these remarks. Khan's imprisonment had added to the political volatility in Pakistan which has experienced a prolonged economic crisis. Moving on. While the region of POJK boasts the capacity to generate substantial hydropower, its residents continue to grapple with crippling power cuts. A report. In the picturesque region of Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, a tale of immense potential and squandered resources unfolds. Locals lament after deadly protests in May. The electricity prices have come down. But the load shedding has instead increased. Saad Hamid, a social worker, pointed fingers at the mismanagement of existing so called hydropower projects, which are dysfunctional due to no maintenance. And despite having natural resources to generate power, they are suffering. This powerhouse is a megawatt. हम देख रहे हैं कि पानी भी हमारा ओवरफ्लो में जाया हो, होता जा रहा है लेकिन बिजली की वो पैदावार नहीं है जिसकी वजह से लोड शेडिंग बहुत ज्यादा है जबकि हमारे अपना पानी वसाइल अपना है जिसके ऊपर बिजली पैदा हो रही है अगर मशीनें ठीक लगी होंगी तो ये मुकम्मल पैदावार इस लायत के साथ बिजली पैदा करेगा और लोड शेडिंग नहीं होगी लोकल से द नीलम झेलम हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट टाउटेड एज अ गेम चेंजर हैज बीन अ कोलोसल फेलियर डिस्पाइट मैसिव इन्वेस्टमेंट्स 
it remains non-functional, leaving the people to bear the brunt of the energy crisis. And Nepal's longest-running chariot festival, Rato Machindranath Jatra, concluded on Sunday with a ceremony in Lalitpur where the bejeweled west of the rain god was put on display. The centuries-old ritual is said to assure rain and a good harvest as well as guarantee good omens for the country's rulers. Nepal's top political leaders and the living goddess Kumari also attended the ceremony on Sunday. During the festival, a chariot with 60 feet tall spire is made out of bamboo and wood and the idol of rain god is placed inside it by a priest. The wooden wheeled chariot is then moved around parts of Lalitpur. Locals were seen merry-making when the bhoto and the beach-weld west of the rain god was put on display. The west is packed and kept inside the cloth pouch for a year and opened only on the concluding day of the festival. यो फोटो दर्शन गरे बापट वर्षा को एक चोटी फोटो दर्शन गरे बापट कष्ट महा भये कष्ट आरण होने जस्तो चोर को दोष लागने है ना अब आड़ी बेरी को दोष लागने विभिन्न खाल को अनि आयश आयशोरी प्राप्ति होने जिस तक पुरारो सब पे ही पुराई अष्ट महा भये कष्ट चाहिए आरण होने भये को कारण ही इसको एकदम ही Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.